I've done this tutorial about one of the most important aspects of playing slide guitar, which is damping with either the left hand or the right hand. It's a really important technique when it comes to playing slide, simply because you're restricted to what you can do compared against a six string guitar. So damping's a big, important point. So you can damp when you're playing notes to control things when you're playing with the slide, but you can either damp chords or you can damp notes. So if I play chords, for instance, if I just play it open without any damping, it gets a bit wild and a bit out of control. The notes just cross over and busy up each other. So what you do is you can mute. So what I do is put this part of my hand here down against the bridge and, that, and actually deaden the strings a bit. So I'll play an example. Okay, so that's better. I'm back in tune. So I'll play an example of a damped part for you. So let's take let's take a basic riff like this. So I'm just hammering down the third fret. One, two, three, four, one, two, down the three. And what I'm doing, I'm playing it open for the first two notes, and then I'm shutting it down with my hand for the second two. enables you to put a lot of control in what you're doing by damping with your hand. There's also a second method of damping, which is when you're playing, when you push hard down on the slide, your fingers behind don't make as much dampening. But if you're gently touching on the strings, the fingers behind actually dampen the notes off. One person who's particularly excellent at this technique is Ry Kuda. He's got a knack of, of playing the single notes, but really closing them down, really muting the sound. Now I'm creating that sound by putting my fingers behind on the strings. I know it doesn't make sense because you'd have thought where the slide is applied on the string, that anything behind wouldn't be heard because obviously the slide's acting like a fret. So if you touched a string further up when you're fretting it, nothing would be heard. But on the slide, it does actually make a difference. You can still hear the difference. I'm playing on the fifth fret with my slide. If I play the note without my fingers on, on the string, so I'll play it just with the slide, it rings. Now if I play with my fingers muted on the strings, it's a slightly more nasally muted sound. So you can actually damp with either the left hand or the right hand. So I find on chords I tend to damp with my right hand on picking and lead parts. I'll use my left hand to damp the strings. So there you go, there's a bit of damping techniques for you on the slide guitar. And I hope this helps.